Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review and here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Zartan. I found him at a Target uh, near me and um, this guy is pretty hard to find so recommend you find him. Uh, he's kind of expensive online right now but I found him so got him for 20 bucks for retail price. But uh, yeah, let's go over to the box here. So we get that art there with Zartan. We get the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo there. And then Zartan there. Here's the side here with the 23 there. 23rd figure, I believe. And then here's all those logos there. Here's the back with that same old logo that we've been getting uh, with all the G.I. Joe Classified Series figures. Uh, and then here is the side art of Zartan again. And then here's the top with the 23. And then that Zartan logo on top. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Zartan out of the box here. So first, let's go over the accessories. So first, we get this like backpack piece here. It has a peg right here and it goes on his back. And you get a peg here to put, uh, I don't really remember. I think you believe, I believe you could put this on there. And I think you might put this on there. Yeah, maybe. Um, otherwise you may have like a holster for this. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, you get this little handle here, and I believe you're supposed to pop it open, and you put this mask in there, which is for his disguise. There is another figure of Zartan coming out uh, from like the uh, comic, I mean the cartoon series, where it has a lot more stuff that you can put on them for disguises. Uh, it looks a little different, but yeah, you just slide that in there like that. You get some red detailing in there too, so that's nice. And then you just slide that back in there like that. Boom. I mean, I like the look of this like little backpack thing that you got here for him. So, yeah. And then, um, like I said, you get this pistol here. It's pretty cool looking. And you get this cool blade, which I like a lot. I like the design of this blade or knife that he has. And then you get this like little thing, this hand that you... You're supposed to plug into the back of the backpack here, I believe, like this. So yeah, there's those little holes in there that you can just slide in like that. And then you get this like little snake here, snake looking thing here. So you get the, the fangs on top here and then you get the pink looking mouth here and then brown skin. And then just slide that in there like that. Um, and then yeah, that's his accessories here. So then here is Zartan now. So this you could take off. So this is his hood here. It kind of looks like a cobra or a snake looking hood. So you get like that skin there, reptile skin looking on the side here and on top here. And then smooth around the other parts. And it kind of looks like an Assassin's Creed hood. So yeah, you could take this off of him. So can you take this off too? His little uh, bandana, brown. Kind of looks like it has some texture, maybe. I don't feel it. Uh, maybe it's just my phone messing with me. But yeah, that's his other accessories that he's supposed to have on him. And then he is his face, which looks a little scary. So yeah, you get that like eye makeup on him. He's bald. Kind of looks like kind of just a little old. Um, but he kind of looks scary. So yeah, you get a little bit of a pink lips there. Uh, blue eyes. Um, you get some wash over in the wrinkles and then he's wearing this like little chest pad here. Uh, he's not wearing anything underneath. So yeah, he's shirtless, but he's wearing these pads. So yeah, you get this chest plate here. So you get this like little gray for the padding and then some black for detailing here. I kind of like the look of it and you get some like brown straps in there. You get these shoulder pads with these nice texture. Same thing on the straps on the back. Here's the back side. You get this peg hole for the backpack. And here's the holster for his knife, which you could slide in. Where did I put it? Right there. There it is. So, yeah. Here's the holster. So, yeah, you get some brown wrapped around it. And then the actual holster. You just slide it in like that. There you go. Just like that. Easy. And then, yeah, you get the belt here. So, yeah. You also, it has a hole in there so you can plug in some stuff. Um, 
and it looks like this is a completely separate piece so you can move around a little bit and you get this other belt here underneath with that nice texture like leather like texture and then you get like the double buckle thing and you get zartan's loco on the buckle here and then there's the back here's his pants he's wearing these little thigh pads here with some black detailing and black on it um with some matte gray on the padding here black uh, sh black straps around the leg you get the knee pads here and then shin guards with some shiny glossy black on, on the detailing and then matte gray and then here are the actual boots it has some treads for on the black and then uh gray and then here's the back side black boots but yeah, uh, let's go over the articulation. So his head uh, can hinge up that far, down that far. And then he also has a ball joint for the neck. So he can look up actually that far. He can look down a little bit farther. And then you can look left and right. Uh, head pivoting a little bit. But then when you do use the neck, you get him to go off to the side a little bit like that. 360 rotation around there if you want. Uh, shoulders can move out, I guess that far. It's not, it's kind of stiff, so I don't know if it could go farther. I don't want to break it. He has a butterfly joint too. 360 rotation around the shoulder. The pads can get mix, messed up though. Uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and they're pinless, which is nice. Uh, that other joint does not want to move. <laughs> um, Wrists can hinge side to side here, so down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. He has an ab crunch, so he can go forward that far with that, backwards that far. And he also has a ball joint at the hip, so he can actually go forward still the same amount, kind of. And then backwards a little bit farther, it looks like. He also ha can go side to side with that hip joint, like that. And then 360 rotation around there, clicky. Uh, his hips can drop down, I think. There we go. There's a hip drop down. So, yeah. So, you could kick out actually that far. And then pop it back in. Kick forward that far. Backwards. Decent amount. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. So, butt kick basically. And he has a boot cut. And then uh, ankles can hinge down that far. Up that far. And nice ankle pivot. And then here's Zartan with all the accessories and stuff on him here. So, yeah. Um, I don't really know much about this character, really. I just really know about Shadow Storm, Duke, Snake Eyes, Cobra Commander, uh, Daestro, and a few others. This one I didn't really know. I didn't watch the, com uh, the cartoon version. I really just watched the Retaliation and then what was the other one? Rise of Cobra, that's the one that I watched, but I watched it was like a long time ago, so I probably forgot most of this stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, I recommend getting them. He looks, he's awesome. Um, and then I cannot wait for the other version of him from the cartoon version, even though I don't know anything about him. Besides the part where he's kind of just disguises as other people, it looks like. Um, especially seeing this and then the yeah, new figure of him coming out. So, uh, yeah. I do recommend getting them. He's a cool modern look, whereas the other version is like cartoon, but I'm still going to get that once it, they release it for pre-orders. And yeah, but the detailing's good. Articulation's pretty good. Um, the amount of accessories are awesome. So yeah, like I said, recommend getting them. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out my TikTok. I'm releasing like a small version of each of my reviews on my tiktok since they have the three minute video thing now um and then also i am planning on pre-ordering the galactus figure i'll do like a, a video of how i feel about it and then um i did order the uh iron man wave i just need to buy ultron uh right now and uh then dark star i believe still but i'm waiting for her to actually come out and i'll space out the other figures so that way i can get dark star so that way it's not too late you know um 
and then the Sentinels should be coming in this fall, so hopefully soon they'll release when they'll start shipping them. Um, but yeah, um, but thanks for watching.